This is Twit. I'm so, trying to go to Etsy with the new incognito thing just you? to see been to any of the Amazon Go stores that they have them in Seattle, I think. Yes! I have just I Ooh. bought a sandwich there the other day. Their chicken banh mi sandwiches are delicious. And so tell me about the experience. You walk in, you take something, so you, and you just walk out? Yeah, so your first time you go in and you download the Amazon Go app. And it's oh, gonna so it's a show, separate app? Oh. Yeah, it's a separate It's a separate app. Unlike um, so, Whole Foods. Unlike Whole Foods. So you so it scan looks, your phone. You have the, oh, there it is. And there's the scan code. And you scan that when you enter. And then the little, there's these little security doors. And they go, and you walk through. And then from then on, anything you pick up and like take out with you, it's going to register. So I went and got a sandwich. And my and then when you walk out, you don't do anything. It just doesn't like that, scan do it. It doesn't need to because it's got cameras everywhere. And then you get a notification with your receipt and with your checkout, that your total time. Pretty, uh, awesome. I feel bad for the checkout clerks who've lost jobs now and baggers and all that. But there is the in the Seattle ones, there's also parts that sell alcohol, but you have to show a right. an ID before. Oh, and there's still it. stock clerks and stuff. I mean, there's some people employed there, obviously. You can't just. Yeah, but this is totally going to kill jobs. My first job was a checkout person. Yeah. So, yeah, so you it understand. It was a crappy job. The uh, so here's the good news in Seattle. They're planning to open a, a really big Amazon Go store, um, ten thousand four hundred square feet. Eventually, they want to go as big as a regular supermarket, about thirty thousand square feet. So right now, they're just little stores. They're like a Seven Eleven kind of size, right? Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's about that size. But they have a lot of stuff. Like the last time I was in there, I um bought what did I buy? A uh, tied to go stick because I spilled something on myself and like a coffee. So one thing retail analysts are concerned about, according to The Verge, is it's expensive, believe it or not. Uh, they wonder whether it's a good fit for the low margin world of convenience stores. But it's got to be in the long run cheaper than having clerks or maybe not. I don't know. Well, it's well, certainly like if you think about putting it in like a, a neighborhood bodega, for example, although someone still has to make your sandwich. So I don't know how that's going to work, but it would help presumably with loss prevention. You could that's have true. people not being there during like the deepest, darkest night when it's potentially more dangerous. But then kids um, will just go there to smoke pot. Oh, That's geez. interesting. The idea that you would go inside and smoke pot. <laughs> Get off my lawn and my 7-Eleven, you kids. <laughs> they'll go in there. They'll smoke pot. And then they'll get hungry. And they'll eat the whole place. They'll just well, they'll they sell pot soon. You, you can't get in unless you scan. So they know who you are when you go in. And there's cameras everywhere. In fact, that's another thing that Verge yeah. says is a potential problem. They have to have high ceilings so they can put the camera arrays in. Could you well, see the true. cameras? There are visible cameras, but I think there are also cameras above the stuff that you can't see. So I could see cameras, but I could not see all the cameras. There's more my than guess. you know. Yeah. The other thing is I didn't uh, I didn't pick my nose when I was in that store. Yeah. Your smile. <laughs> what what is not clear, Amazon has also said it wants to open a completely new grocery chain, not Whole Foods. Uh, uh, all over the country. I wonder if that will be Go enabled. It could be. I mean, they get a lot of interesting data. So imagine, I mean, like, one, you'll have better control of your inventory. Because, like, I know I go into my grocery store all the time and, like, a shelf is empty and I'll be like, hey, do you have any of this? And they're like, oh, yeah, we've got that in the back, right? So that's a potent, that's that's a chance to make money. But then there's also things like, I pick things up, I look at the ingredients and I don't put and then I put it back. That's data they could sell back to Procter and Gamble or Campbell's. So, you know, hey, people pick this up all the time. They look at it and they're like, oh, never mind. So something's oh, wrong. Stacey, here. That's really important. Yeah. It's just one it, what one individual shopper gets and doesn't get going around. Yeah, that's right. Isn't this, it's just fascinating that it's a really a sea change in commerce. Oh. That a guy oh. like Jeff, Be Jeff Bezos comes along. And, and says, you know, this data has a lot of value and there's ways to do this that are very different than the way we're doing it today.